What's going on guys? I'm Michael. I'm Ryan. Today we're hitting back and buys with a special guest. Yeah, we got some few tips for you guys, so make sure you watch the whole video, how to get bigger arms. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers. Let's go, baby. Join the Natty team. Stay Natty, baby. 2,000 years later. Hey, Ryan, get up. John just got here. He's here? Yep. He's been waiting all day. Oh, my God. Jeez. All right, guys, before we get into this workout, I want to introduce our special guest, John. We're happy to have you on the channel. Follow him on Instagram. Thanks for having me on the channel. I'm glad to be the first guest, and uh, let's get it. Yep, his information will be in the description in case you want his, his address, his social security number, whatever you need, it'll all be down there, so. Yeah. All right, Mike, key number one to getting big legs. I never did that. Whoa, what are you talking about? We're hitting arms today. We're hitting arms? Yeah, What's tips, on how, tips on how to get bigger arms. Oh, tips on arms. Okay, we'll tell him that when we go, go upstairs. Is that good? All right, let's do that. All right, I'll tell you guys tips for the arms when we get upstairs after this workout. All right, guys, now we're gonna give you some tips on how to get bigger arms. Yeah, John just had to leave because he was up all day, but let's get after this first tip. All right, first one is we're gonna be hitting the full range of motion when you're hitting your biceps. So for here, you wanna get the full stretch and the full contraction. When you're doing the full stretch, it basically just means your arms the full way down, as far as point it can go. Full contraction is actually when your arms up above your head and your biceps fully tighten. Yeah. So you can hit uh, different exercises like this. So if you're laying down on your stomach on a you know, on an incline bench, your arms are like here. And uh, if you're standing up and down, your arms are here. And just just uh, different where you want your arms to be is uh, different points of contractions in your bicep whenever you're doing these curls. Yeah, so since the fullest point of contraction is up behind your head when your arm's like this, because your bicep is the tightest there, that's why preacher curls are good because it helps you get higher and higher up into that contraction. Yep. Uh, next up, we got progressive overload. So the idea of progressive overload is, uh, say you, you wanna get better at pull-ups. So you do pull-ups every day, um, but you add like one more pull-up every single day whenever you do them. Um, so, but if you relate this to uh, uh, biceps, if you're hitting biceps every week or, or twice a week or whatever, you're gonna add more weight every time you hit your arms. So say you're curling 25s on the easy bar, next time maybe curl 25s and a 2.5 or 25s and a five, uh, just, just to add more weight and uh, make your body think and react that it needs to be stronger. Yeah, so you can hit these progressive overloads with either reps or the weight. Mm -hmm. So you can either do more reps or more weight yep. when you're overloading the muscle there. All right, your next tip is gonna be uh, time under tension. So what I like to use when I explain time under tension is if I'm hitting, say, easy bar curls, 
Uh, we're going to be going up maybe about one second and then three one seconds second. on the way down. You could even do more than that. Like the slow decline is really get most of the time under tension in. Um, some people even say like do five. Slower the better. I mean, yeah, the three squats, to five. squats people do more time, but like for arms, it's whatever whatever you want. It causes more uh, more uh, tear in the uh, muscle fibers. That way uh, your muscle breaks down. So that way you can build back stronger. Yeah. So when basically you're getting more muscle fiber tears whenever you're going in the eccentric motion of any lift. So. If you're doing three seconds on the way down, five seconds, whatever you want to do, longer on the way down, more tension. That more tension's there is going to, with a bigger weight, is going to help you uh, rebuild yeah. your muscles back stronger. Yeah, I really, I really like to focus on this, and uh, really helps you build your build any muscle to get a get larger. It's good for any muscle group, but it is essential for building biceps. Yeah, and here also with the time under tension fact, you're going to want to make sure that you actually have your tension on that muscle. And when you're doing squats, like the whole time, the tension's gonna be on unless you're completely sitting down. But with curls, you have to focus a little more, make sure that you don't have your arms completely straight going down, because then you don't have any tension on your bicep. You wanna come up and not throw your elbows forward. You wanna come up and don't go too high so that way you're still squeezing your bicep the whole time and then squeezing the way down and until you're just a little bit before the straight and then yeah, just continue the motion and uh, keep keep the tension and the squeeze in your arm. Yeah, like you said right there, in order, the reason why he doesn't want you to go the whole way up, move your elbows forward, is because as soon as you move your elbows forward, tension's on your shoulders now, it's no longer on your yeah. bicep. Yep. All right, the next is we're gonna do What's drop sets. Next? Drop sets. We, me and Mike basically hit drop sets on like every exercise. Um, so you can push yourself a little harder. It's also known as like pyramiding down if, uh, you, you know about that. Uh, we, we usually will pyramid up and, and also pyramid down, but for drop sets, you're just pyramid down. So what that means is- But without a break. Yeah, so what that means is- um, You're hitting a set of 10, and then say you can no longer do that weight. You're gonna drop the weight- Slide some more weights off. Five, 10 pounds, and then just hit a quick another five, five 10 reps with it. And yeah. you can- Especially at the end of your workout, if you're doing a burnout or something, this is also great for that. You're hitting heavy weight, you drop it five, 10 pounds, a couple more reps, drop it a couple more pounds, a couple more reps. The easiest way to do this is if you have a lifting partner and you don't wanna put breaks in between it, is you can uh, use like fives or tens. So say if like, if you're benching, you could use like tens, but if you're curling, you're just using an easy bar, you just put a bunch of fives on each side and then he can like, your partner, who he or she, whoever can uh, pull the um, the plates off one one by one whenever you get tired and, and you burn out. So like you're doing your reps, you can't do any more. Take one off each side and then keep going until you can't do any more and so on. It's really good for pushing yourself. Yeah, I love that. All right, the next tip is gonna be uh, hitting the muscle from each angle. So I know I got a clip for you guys right here. Here I'm gonna be hitting the bicep leaning so i'm actually hitting it the way the muscle fibers run a lot with my bicep and up yeah. to my tendon everyone hits biceps standing straight up like you you gotta want to add some extra stuff in some different angles and stuff like that different uh positions for the exercise and it really uh hits different fibers like you said and uh there's it's really important to hit each yeah. muscle group with the way the fibers run like when you're hitting chest yeah. get it along along the way the muscle fibers uh, run, but uh, yeah, that's why I want to lean here. So it actually helps me get a good contraction. Yeah Yeah, so I uh, hope you like this video. Oh, uh, here's a here's another bonus tip for uh, if you want your arms to be bigger Work the muscle that goes down uh, right behind your uh, bicep the brachialis That's what you, that would push your bicep out more and obviously you got to make sure you're hitting them triceps because that's like yeah, that's it's like actually two thirds of your arm. So like make sure you hit you're hitting your try. Yeah, it's actually in between there so it helps push up your bicep yeah. Yeah. and it helps it also it helps wider. with width. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. I um, hope those tips were worth it for you guys to subscribe. Yeah. If you like the video, drop us up. Join the Natty team. Um, Natty squad, baby. Yeah. Thanks for watching these videos. We really appreciate it. We really do appreciate you. you guys. We're on a mission to get a thousand subscribers. If you made it this far in the video, go to the comment section. What should they comment like? Natty, Natty squad. Natty Squad, Natty Squad or Big Biceps. Either one of those. Whatever you want to do. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video.
Like always, I'm Ryan. I'm Michael. And yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Big eating challenge coming. Huge. Huge eating challenge with John. It's going to be great. Next video. Yeah, so also, again, if you like John, tell us to do more yeah. videos with him. Tell us to do more videos with John or whoever you want to see us collab with. You, you didn't get to see a lot of his personality, but he'll be in the next ones to come as long as you guys want him to be. Oh, yeah. and uh, just so I don't forget, with that montage, uh, with that song that we got on there, that's one of our friend's uh, brothers. And yeah, we'd really appreciate it if you guys would check him out. His, his information will be in the description. Uh, we just heard that heard his song yesterday. It's the first one I heard of, from him, and uh, it was really good. So, you know, run that up. So uh, his stuff will be in the description, like I said. And his SoundCloud will be down there. Let's check that out. Yeah. So, but thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.